shifting our focus to North Korea. Where now the nightmares unfolding? Pyongyang is observing the 10th death anniversary of Kim Jong-il. Now the state has issued new diktats to the citizens. What are they? Now for 11 days, North Koreans can't drink, they can't go shopping, and most importantly, they're not even allowed to laugh. This is not a joke. North Koreans could lose their lives if they fail to comply. Our next report gets you all the details. Have you tried watching North Korean state television? For most people, it's like riding an emotional roller coaster. When Kim Jong-un turns up for a meeting, the officials clap with gusto. When he visits his citizens, they can't contain their excitement. But perhaps the most striking images were these, when Kim Jong-il died. The entire population of North Korea was shown in grief. The anchor communicating the news to the world was wailing. So were these people who had gathered for a final farewell to Kim Jong-il. His son, Kim Jong-un, was also seen holding back his tears. Ten years later, North Koreans are being forced to mourn again for Kim Jong-il. It's his 10th death anniversary. Pyongyang is observing an 11-day period of mourning. During this period, North Koreans are expected to behave in a certain way. They are not allowed to laugh in public. Leisure activities are banned. So is grocery shopping and alcohol consumption. What happens if you flout these rules? You shall face serious consequences. In the past, North Korean security officials have arrested violators. They have been branded as ideological criminals and taken away. Even in the event of a death in a family, the family members are not allowed to cry. These bizarre rules are in keeping with Kim Jong-il's legacy. He liked to dictate the behavior of North Koreans. His son is following suit. In his dystopian kingdom, the citizens are expected to show full loyalty to the Kims. In North Korea, that means giving up shopping and crying only for the supreme leader.